What's up guys, the GSA Specialist and Discarded 2.0 is a little bit of a mess. and Russia are both being accused of fielding armed no-pats in an escalating fight over vital resources. Battlefield 2042 has finally dropped its second to last reworked map in the form of Discarded 2.0. And while I myself said I enjoy Discarded more than many of the vanilla maps, the recent rework took it from being a disconnected open field to a chaotic visual mess, now akin to something you'd see in Call of Duty Ground War instead of Battlefield. While it's an improvement in many ways, I think the discarded rework really shows the flaws in the developer's direction when it comes to map design. And while I have said similar things about maps like Spearhead, that map is at least a beautiful, restrained, and bright experience, while discarded is a much more messy, dim play space that goes from open field to claustrophobic shooting gallery in a heartbeat. That all being said, if you can avoid the firing line of vehicles, the new complex points of interest can provide some of the most intense and immersive gunfights of any map. So like always, hit subscribe and let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of Discarded 2.0. Now, I definitely wouldn't call Discarded 2.0 a pretty map. In many ways, it's the ugliest map in the game, featuring oil skids, rusted cars, and destroyed tanks. But with that comes a feeling of realism. The new scrapyards feel very lived in and dense, and the flooded town is probably what more of this game should look like. While it's far from eye candy, it's at least hitting the nail on the head when it comes to conveying a war-torn, post-apocalyptic feeling now with burnt out tanks and thrown together forward operating bases. The map feels a lot more like something you'd see in Call of Duty from a visual perspective and I think that's a good thing. Denser, dirtier, and more relatable, again just like the map Flashpoint. And with this new dense look and feel comes a lot more cover with a lot more unique assets. While Discarded does borrow from the other maps, it feels like this map has the most unique assets by far, even down to tarps with different camo patterns and the unique rusted out cars. This adds a lot more variety, keeping the map much more busy and interesting. Overall, this detail and density really helps the map pop in its infantry-focused areas. The scrapyards, cargo ship, flooded town, and shipping areas feel like you have a lot more variety and really keep player engagements fresh, especially in small modes. While conquest can be a little hectic, the moment-to-moment -moment gunfights can be incredibly immersive as you fight through destroyed buildings, taking up angles, and working with your squad to cover every direction. Oh, there they come. Through that hole there. It's like right over there, yeah. Wow. Now, the flow of Discarded is probably its biggest issue. While it's not its worst problem, you'll especially notice in large game modes that Discarded really leans into a point of interest type of map design. While there are moments of very dense, detailed cover, and there are still moments where the map is a literal open field. Initiated by our 
This polarizing combination creates a very problematic situation where you're either 100% in or 100% out of the fight. You're either entirely exposed aside from a few rocks, or you're dealing with multiple angles and multiple lanes to cover all at the same time. It's very hard to deal with because you typically spawn far out of the fight and have to dive in head first. You're not working your way up into the fight, you're suddenly surrounded or you're suddenly exposed. It's hard to keep up with how the game is progressing, where the battle lines are, and what areas you can put your back to. Maps like Breakaway or even Manifest I think do a better job at allowing the player to understand these boundaries while still being dense with cover. Some of that may come down to the spawns, but I think in large part it has to deal with my least favorite thing about this map. The one thing that really kills me about this map is the crazy complexity of the cover. Take all these nooks and crannies combined with a dark color palette, some changes in elevation, and the sudden shift in dense and exposed areas, and you create a lot of places where players can sit and watch each other without really being contested. It feels like I'm constantly being shot from a million different directions, even underneath raised buildings, through car windows, and rooftops. The map really seems to lean into these complex, noisy play areas without enough robust structure to command the gameplay into a structured laned format. And don't get me wrong, there are moments this complexity totally works out, but in general the map feels porous and like there's too many items of cover placed around with no real reason, often reminding me of something like Modern Warfare Shoot House, but way bigger. It feels like they went too far in some areas and didn't do anything in others, really making the map flow uneven in large modes and making the gunplay really hectic one moment and then being sentenced to death in the field the next. Discarded 2.0 is the culmination of DICE throwing everything at the wall trying to fix their vanilla maps, but in this case they may have gone too far. They're continuing to lean into a point of interest model that isn't suited for large team modes, and have decided to throw more assets on screen and provide the players with more quote unquote cover by just dropping items all around the play space without any real consistency or thought to player movement. The gunfights can be fun and intense, but also very frustrating to be on the other side of, often dying from an enemy you can't see or don't have enough time to counter. Playing with a squad and playing more carefully helps, but I'm afraid this could be a very frustrating map for most players on large modes. But guys, drop your comments below and tell me if you think Discarded 2.0 is better than the original. For everything else Battlefield, stay tuned and subscribe, and as always, thank you guys for watching.